Hey everybody, Alice Ford here out on another hike. I am doing the Crystal Lake Trail to Throop Peak today. This is about an 11 mile hike in the Angeles National Forest. Not too far from the hike I did in my last video, The Bridge to Nowhere. So in that same area, I actually parked at the Crystal Lake Cafe and I'm gonna be walking up the road just a little bit here to get to the trailhead. Now, if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that little thumbs up button as well like this video and turn on those little bell notifications so you guys can get notified of all my new videos and until then let's hit the trail i've actually never been up here to crystal lake uh, it's really pretty and there's actually a campground here where you start the trail that I think would be a really awesome place to camp. This hike starts at already up above about 5,000 feet. So today's gonna be a really good test on how out of shape I've become during this little lockdown. Um, it also actually goes uphill, unlike my last hike. So I'm already breathing <laughs> pretty hard and I have only about a mile in, so it should be an interesting 11 miles. I have a feeling we're going up there. One of the things I love most about hiking in the Angeles Forest is that you're usually surrounded by these huge pine trees and there's lots of little forest squirrels and other critters and you have a lot of shade. You also should know that when you come and hike in the Angeles Forest, if it's National Forest, you are required to have an adventure pass or a National Park Pass displayed in your windshield when you park. So we've gone about a mile and a half now, and as you guys can see, we're just getting over the tree line here, and you can see the spectacular San Gabriel Wilderness and Angeles National Forest behind me. It's an absolutely beautiful day today. It was actually about 50 degrees when I started hiking. Now that we're above the trees, it's getting a bit warmer, um, which is why I always dress in layers, like I always say. As you can see, there used to be a lot more trees up here. There have been a couple of big fires that came through this area. I believe the last one was either last year or the year before. All right, guys, we're going uphill. I'm feeling my calves already. So we're just coming up at another trail sign here. You can see here's all the options. We're actually gonna be going this way, not that way, up the Windy Gap Trail. These views are Crystal Lake, the name of the lake in Friday the 13th. Pretty sure that might be another reason why I had weird dreams. I can't just say that and not tell you about my dreams. So sometimes I have a really hard time sleeping the night before I'm getting up early to go on a hike. If you guys are the same, please let me know in the comments. But it happens to me a lot. I don't know if I'm just like have nervous energy or if I'm worried I'm not gonna wake up at my alarm clock or what, but this hike is a long one. It's a little bit longer than I normally do, and I've never done it. So I think those two things coupled together, and then me reading all of these things on Facebook and social media the last couple of days, seeing like how many rattlesnakes have been on the trails. I had like dreams of rattlesnakes and mountain lions, and when I woke up this morning, I almost was like, uh, I'm not going, I'm gonna do a different hike. But I'm really glad that I am here. It's so beautiful. I just stopped for a snack. So this might be like the weirdest hiking lunch you've ever had, but I think it's gonna be pretty delicious. I made pancakes last night, banana pancakes, and I moved them into like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So I'm just gonna have a plain one for this. We are definitely up above the trees now and we're almost to this ridge line, at least it seems like it's in sight now and a little bit more feasible. 
So I've gone about three miles now, which means I am more than halfway there. Thank goodness. If I was a little critter, I would for sure live in this little hole. Shall we check it out? I think one of the things I'm loving the most about this trail is that there's just nobody else around. I did pass one other group of about four people right when I started the trail, but since then I've seen no one. There are a couple of footprints on the path, but this trail only reopened last Saturday, this whole area of the Angeles Forest, so I'm pretty sure there haven't been too many people hiking up here. Just another trail sign here, and we are going to actually go to the right over here. towards Mount baden Paul and the Hawkins Ridge Trail. We've now kind of crossed over onto the other side of the mountain and this area over here is actually the San Fernando Valley. So this is also part of the Pacific Crest Trail. So a lot of through hikers come through this area. Just past the four mile mark and we are finally almost at the top of this ridge line. I am just blown away because it's so beautiful. Just check this out behind me. What do you guys think? Snow angel time? So slight change of plans, I'm actually going to just be going to the summit of Mount Hawkins, which is just a couple more um, 0.3 miles, I think. And um, I was going to go all the way to Mount Thru, but it's really far. It's actually about another mile. So Mount Hawkins is just up the hill here and um, I can't see the view from the top. Okay, so this is the summit of Mount Hawkins. We are up above about 8,500 feet here. And as you guys can see, the little panorama. The view is just absolutely stunning. Gosh, well, we really lucked out on such a beautiful day. There are just a few clouds in the sky and they're just as beautiful as the blue sky. Now, as I said, this mountain peak is just over 8,400 feet. We actually did about 5.8 miles getting up here and I'm gonna take in the view for a little bit, listen to the birds, which you might hear in the background, and then I'm gonna head back down. Um, I do wanna do a little bit of shooting and it is already a little bit late in the day. It's almost one o'clock. I absolutely loved this hike. I would definitely do it again. I would definitely just come out and do this whole area of hiking again. There are a lot of trails. If you wanted to do a shorter trail, you could do that Mount Islip, which we passed at that last like really big junction, which would have only added on about 0.8 miles, making I think your one way trip about four miles. So that's like a short alternative if you don't wanna continue on and do these kind of farther out trails along the PCT. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this beautiful virtual hike throughout the Angeles National Forest. I would love it if you joined me again for one of the next trails that I hit. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications, and hit that little like button. I'll see you guys out on another adventure very soon.